As a former teacher, coach, and assistant principal, Jacqueline Coleman brings Andy Bashir some bona fides on the topic of education. As a lawmaker, Robbie Mills brings Daniel Cameron some credibility on some hot button social issues, as well as voters in a crucial part of the state. Robbie is a rock ribbed conservative with a history of beating legacy Democrats uh, in a historically strong Democrat region. As a state lawmaker, Robbie Mills represents an important district in western Kentucky. In his home county of Henderson, Democrat Andy Bashir beat Republican Matt Bevin in 2019. Mills also represents Dawson Springs, a town hard hit by the tornadoes where the Bashir family has deep roots. I carried the bill to help uh, the needs and to help rebuild western Kentucky. That was $200 million that that bill uh, put in put into, uh, out into the state. Uh, Andy Bashir wants you to believe that it is a one-person relief effort. <laughs> Mills has sponsored bills that speak directly to the Republican base, a voter ID law, for example, and requiring transgender athletes to compete with their biological sex. We've got to get more people back to work. We will have law and order again. And we will restore Kentucky values to the governor's office again. On Wednesday, the current lieutenant governor, Jacqueline Coleman, was in Louisville visiting Jefferson Community and Technical College. When Governor Bashir chose me as his running mate, he, it was a signal that education was a priority, um, that, that women and rural Kentucky were also going to be priorities of our administration, and you've seen that through the years. Before taking office, Coleman was instrumental in the 2018 teacher protests at the Capitol over proposed pension changes. She criticized Cameron's support for those changes. It makes perfect sense that his choice would be one of the architects of the sewer bill, uh, someone who has proven time and time again that not only is he not a fan of public education, um, he's unwilling to support our public schools and our teachers. Coleman says Kentucky's strong economy is a testament to Bashir's leadership as governor. We have more than enough money to give those hardworking teachers the long overdue raise that they deserve. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News.